Sam Owens here. I'm going to show you the steps to install the seven piece silicone hose kit for the 2017 Polaris Slingshot. A, um, a 10 piece kit that uh, covers the 2015 and 2016. So 2017 and 18 will require the seven piece uh, kit. This is the 2017 with the seven piece silicone hose kit installed. I have black, I wanted black, uh, but you can get many different colors. And uh, there are six hoses on this side. There's five here, one lower hose, and the seventh hose is the top uh, hose to the radiator. If you had the 10 piece kit, uh, the uh, the difference is for the 2015 you're going to require three more hoses here and this would be in the place of this one you would have this one that goes over to there with a T bridge here and this would be like that that's the 2015 right there the 2016 <laughs> will be like this, but it's gonna have a different lower hose, a shorter lower hose. My 17 has a longer uh, lower hose, so that's the difference in the, uh, the kits. So make sure you get the proper kit to do your install, and uh, we're gonna show you how to do this on the 2017. This is what it looks like uh, that you should set you an area up and get your required tools uh, that you're gonna need, like some pliers, screwdrivers, nut drivers. Even a short screwdriver might help out in a close play. And also socket, a little small quarter inch socket and uh, ratchet will help. Okay, inventory all of your uh, hose clamps and parts and make sure you have everything correct because you don't want to start this project and get halfway in the middle and find out you don't have everything you need. There's some certain things that you're going to need and that is the coolant is going to be drained into a tub and the tub must be able to fit under the uh, slingshot. Uh, it's preferable, it's like four, this one's about four inches tall and should hold all the coolant that comes out of the slingshot and we're going to put the coolant back into the slingshot because there's nothing wrong with it as long as it's uh, under five years old and I did get the proper coolant uh, that in case something goes wrong and I need more coolant uh, such as spillage or what have you uh, this is what you need Dex Cool and 50-50 premix is the only thing that you want to get for this. Is a simple siphon hose. Uh, it's gonna be hard to pour uh, the fluid out of there. So we're gonna see if we can't uh, uh, pump this into the, uh, uh, into the system. There's no drain plug on the uh, radiator like you're used to with cars and so forth. It's a totally closed system with only one place that's the recovery reservoir that you can uh, put uh, coolant into so we're going to have to uh, go through a drain procedure and uh, we will show you that uh, precautions you got to take care of uh, as we go along and start filling the slingshot up with coolant air can get trapped in the system since it's a closed system so we have a technique of purging the system so i want you to go into this with an idea that it's not a matter of draining it out and just pouring the fluid back in the reservoir you're going to have to take some special steps and i'm going to cover all of those so it's uh i think it's within your range of being able to do if you simply watch what i'm doing and uh I think we can all get this accomplished. So the first thing I got to do is we've got to drain the system of coolant. Get you a big enough 
pliers and adjust them to where you can squeeze this enough way and slide that down that slid down but that's okay I've got my tub underneath here and centered so that I can drain down and you just pull up on this get your hands down in here and pull up on the bottom a little bit at a time till you can get her to come loose wiggle you have to take and loosen the the cap on the reservoir to take the seal off and let's see what we got you see it comes out of there also so I'm opening it a little bit at a time let her drain out I pull my tub up the front part of this hose off that uh, I am still draining into the bucket so there okay now there you have to twist those out of there now I should be able to grab the hose and pull on it there okay so that's the lower hose that's where most of the coolant is going to come out of I'm going to ta start taking these top hoses loose so I need to take a 10 millimeter and I can take these brackets loose to get this one out of the way so that we can get to the one under there Analog seem to work the best on this and what you do is adjust them to where you've got enough travel to do the job to open up put them on the teeth and squeeze and then kind of rock back and forth a little bit so I'm gonna make sure I push my pan up underneath to capture anything that might run down it's going down and it's draining in and grab it and twist it but I can't move those so I'm gonna that's where these come in ah there see how I'm doing that okay now let me show I move this around by grabbing this and you can spin it with that one not with this one okay now i've got them to where i can uh, work with it you're gonna have to you're gonna have to maneuver these clamps and rock back and forth and pull off and the fluid is still in the engine this connection is in the way we're going to take it out and what there are is two you grab these two points and there's this is how you pull it out you pull squeeze and pull there so we get her out of the way and then we got access you don't mess these wires up you simply move and rock while you, and it's going up and I'm gonna put my fingers in there and pull up while I'm rocking there use a 13 millimeter and take these two mounting bolts loose I'm use the, this part the bottom clamp loose but we need to twist uh, and break the seal against that all of these hoses are going to require breaking the seal and then it'll be easier to maneuver this off it'll be this is probably going to be the hardest one go back here and rock some more Now I got it from that angle. It's going. Okay. It's going. Yeah. Okay. I got that clamp loose. And you see, I got to get under there and get that from the other side, possibly. So we're going to try that. Go back and forth and get this baby loose. Whoop. And there's a little bit in there and we're going to lose a little bit so we're going to need some antifreeze okay i got it 
Okay, I got a little bit more rotated around that I can grab a better angle. Okay. Okay, there. Rock. Back and forth. There. Oh. That's going to be your hardest one. Our last hose is this one. It looks pretty easy up here and right at the radiator. Once you got, got that off, that was easy enough. You break the seal by going back and forth with this thing like that. Once it's broken, then you can, there. And actually you can just keep wiggling back and forth and it'll eventually come off. And wiggle. Okay, now that's probably enough to do it. And now I can kind of twist and and pull. See, pull, push down. It's a rocking manner to get it off. And pulling it extreme. Pulling it way over will pull it off. So you got to kind of rock it. Okay, this is not a matter of pulling straight off. Okay, there we go. We got all the hoses off. 